you guys are. Ready? <laughs> Coach, uh, uh, I get the nice road trip coming up. Uh, yeah. I know you played a Big Ten team uh, just a couple, of, or really a week ago. Um, what kind of lessons can you learn or can you take from that game knowing, you know, probably same, sometimes sim similar characteristics when it comes to conference teams? Well, you know, one thing you can't do is relax, right? You know, being up 21 at half and, you know, we got a sense of like we, we did something and it was 20 whole minutes of play. We learned that, that valuable lesson. We wish we could have learned that in, in the win, but we learned a lesson. And I know that this is another great team in the conference that uh, is fighting to, to position themselves to be the number one conference in, in the country. And I think we hold that right now. So uh, I don't know whether we're the chaser or being chased right now, but it is a, a opportunity to represent something bigger than ourselves and ask the ACC. And so uh, we're going to go there with, with humility. We're going to go there with a, a sense of a focus. And we know that we've got an incredible team that we're going to face. Coach, with the 5-1 and one start, what do you just like about this team through the first six games so far? I, I like their stick to you know. I like that these young ladies are, 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 are wanting to be coached hard. They want to be, they want to be pushed. They want, to, they want their story to be told. And they're, they're, they're really almost restless about being something special. And to, to be able to put this group together, I give credit to my staff and my administration for helping me be very uh, quick and creative to bring these young people here. But I, I almost think it's a God wink because to get lucky enough to get these young people to be a part of this and the people that stay uh, is a credit to um, something bigger than me. And I, I just love that these young people are really excited about telling their story. Coach, I don't know if you heard the news, but this is the last time the ACC Big Ten Challenge will happen. So, right. you know, how big are these out-of-conference matchups going on the road, playing a really good team, and also really big spotlight being, you know, two big conferences going against each other? You know, in the end is like was one thing, but we'll continue to play teams that's in, in, in the Big Ten because it's a, a great competition and it's a great conference for sure. Uh, but also as the SEC is, is an incredible conference that we're going towards. And so it's not something that's going to end to the point where it's going to be sad. We're going to continue to keep these relationships open, but we're going to compete with them uh, the best in, in, in the country. I, I just, you know, I love non-conference schedules to be a little bit more aggressive like this. And I know as we continue to put our schedule together uh, ourselves, I know that we're going to be a lot more competitive in, in, in our scheduling uh, moving forward. But... You know, I, the, to be able to play Penn State and Purdue in the same year, I, I wish this was in year three, <laughs> but we'll take it in year one. But we're going to uh, show them our best effort and whatever that means. I don't know what that means at the end of 40 minutes, but I know that they're going to remember that they played Syracuse. Um, just early on in the season, what has the impact of Dariana Lewis had been on the team? Oh, my gosh. You, you say Dariana Lewis stretch. I just smile. From where she was to where she's now, is this is a complete uh, metamorphosis of a human being. She has really came to a place where the trust wasn't there, and she's opened herself up to totally, completely trust what we're trying to do with her and for her. What people don't understand is that she's only been playing basketball since her senior year in high school, and. For her to be what she is right now is a credit to her resilience and her toughness and her, her want to be something special. And she chose us to help. And I am I take that with, um, with, with, with pride and I want to give her my best effort. But she's more than a basketball player. She's a bio major, biomedical major with a 3.9 GPA. And she's funny and she keeps me on my toes. And uh, I mean, you know, I don't know how you can, you know, love somebody so quickly. But I love her. I love her as if she was my own child because she has opened herself up and, 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 and totally entrusted me like a, a, a newborn child. And I am so grateful to be able to, to be with her for this year. I wish it was be longer. Yeah, with just recruiting her, was there any hesitancy just when you heard about her just starting basketball at such a late age? I'm a, I'm, a bass, I'm a post player, and I saw fourth in the country. Then I saw 14th in the country in rebound, which I, that's called zip it down, put it in, zip it up with your heart. She's, a, she's, a, she's an intense player that really knows how to run the floor and know how to be a teammate and, and, and really finish strong around the rim, and absolutely not. It was like, hello, she answered the phone, <laughs> and uh, it was a blessing. It's a blessing. Coach, you talked about um, wanting to play these games maybe in year three, um, but you get them both here in year one. Uh, just how much does it help build this program, uh, grow this program, especially knowing that, you know, ACC conference play is literally right around, 
Ugh, right around the corner. Well, you know, I just really love what this game teaches us about life. You know, it, it, you, sometimes you get some easy things happening to you and you kind of get this, this false sense of you've arrived and all of a sudden you get punched in the face and say, whoa, whoa, it's tougher. And to be able to play these conference, the Big Ten teams like this early, we are on our toes and sometimes we're on our heels and we're, we're preparing ourselves uh, for whatever's to come and respecting all, fearing nobody. And this is a direct reflection of life, you know? You have to respect the moment all the time. Nobody's bigger or smaller, but there's no time for us to kind of have that moment where we say, ah, oh, let's just kind of chill out. One, we're so new. Two, we're playing Big Ten. And three, we're in ACC conference. And, and this is gonna be such wonderful um, uh, lessons learned about life for these young people and I'm so grateful they have this opportunity. Coach, with the, with the new team gelling, what do you think they've improved on the most through this non-conference stretch? Um, surrendering to the process is what they've learned the most and trusting this crazy lady and, 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 and really believing that I have their best interest in mind. You know, these young ladies, they, they, they transferred to two or three different schools, most, some of them, you know, if not a lot of them. And why am I, why should they trust me? And I gave them all a poem that says, you know, come to the edge. Well, why should I trust you? Come to the edge. I'm, I'm afraid. Come to the edge. And she pushed him, and they flew. And um, I'm hoping that uh, you know we can fly in March, because I really believe talent-wise, we're. I've been around this for 34 years. I really believe this is an NCAA team. How long we continue to learn and stay and surrender to this process is going to give us an opportunity uh, to, to keep telling our story. And it's not really about postseason or, or NCAA. This is about the more you have time to stay in the business of playing, there's more people gonna know your story. The more, more people are gonna really get to understand who Dariana Lewis is and Deja Fair and Georgia Woolley and, and all the names like that. And I think each one of these young ladies, I'm, I'm selfish, I know, I know they're my kids, but I think they all got real special stories. And the longer you play, the longer they'll get to know. Coach, what have you seen so far from Purdue from watching film? They're fast, they're fast. They're like, I, I, I want them, I, I think the NCAA need to check their shoes. Cause I think they got skates inside them sneakers. I mean, they're coming and they're, 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 they're not gonna stop. They can shoot the three ball, all of them, including their center. They all shooting at a high clip and they're shooting their ball quick. They stay, they low you in and they kick you out for a three. And, and uh, we're, we're hoping that we can stay locked into keeping them in front of us and giving them one opportunity, if that at all. Um, they got a, a coach that really is like me played at Purdue and now is the head coach. And uh, I know her pride level is 100% like mine is for Syracuse. And um, we're gonna have to figure out like how can we sustain that speed? I think we've got some pretty quick guards as well. I think that we can, you know, we like to move that ball up and down the floor a little bit. I think whoever can defend is gonna have an opportunity to have success tomorrow night. Any more questions for coach? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Thank you. coach. Good luck.